Hello, I am Goshira and I am a VTuber and content creator here to explain how to install and set up capturing content with OBS. This will likely help you if you want to record content at a high quality and create highlights with the click of a button. The information I'm going to give you may not work for every system. Systems with lower performance may have to adjust accordingly depending on your specifications. Currently, I am running an i7 11700K, 32GB of DDR4 RAM, and an RTX 3080. I have created checkpoints also, so you can skip parts of the video you may already know. Let's dive in. You can often find the download by simply typing OBS into a Google search and seeing something like this. Download and install the version for your system. When you first install, you will likely be prompted with an auto configuration wizard. We will be making the changes and settings after this, so it will not matter what you choose. You should have a similar layout that I have here. We will first dive into settings to capture audio and video properly. For this video, we are aiming to capture footage at 1440p at 60 frames per second. This is what I use for all of my recordings. First, open the settings menu on the bottom right of the screen and locate the video option. This is what your canvas size will be. Think of it as something like a virtual monitor. We will want to match the base canvas resolution to match your monitor. If you don't know what resolution you are running, you can go to display settings, scroll down to scale and layout, and you will find your monitor's resolution. So for mine, it's 2560 by 1440. So change the base canvas resolution to 1440p. Output scaled resolution matches the base canvas resolution. Then change the common FPS value to 60 and apply. Now we go to the output tab. This is where we tell our PC how much effort it's gonna put into the quality of the video that you're capturing. But since we don't care about streaming, we're gonna move on to the recording tab. First thing you're going to do here is set your recording path to somewhere with a lot of space. So if you have extra hard drives, SSDs, uh, this would be the time to use it solely for your recordings. I have two, two terabyte hard drives in my system, and I'm using about almost three terabytes of it. <laughs> you what? For your recording format, that's really based on preference. Uh, I like to use MP4. Um, you move down to encoder, uh, change this to uh, NVIDIA NVENC H264, and then this will open up a bunch of options down below that we're going to change. For encoder settings, uh, I change this to CQP and the CQ level to 17. Uh, then down to preset, you want to change this to better quality. Um, you may have to change it depending on uh, whether OBS um, can handle it or not based off of your system. Um, so you can just choose one of these better I, is what I use. I totally skimmed over this, but you're going to need to go to the audio tab and change the audio bit rate to 320. Anyway, I started blasting. So the replay buffer exists uh, to capture recordings around a set time. Uh, so we want to go ahead and enable replay buffer here. Maximum replay time, I like to do 120 seconds. It's a good amount of time in front of the capture moment and behind the capture moment for me to catch something. Uh, and then for maximum memory, I change this to about 1,000 megabytes. So now that we have set up our recording settings, uh, we want to set a hotkey for the replay buffer. This will enable us to, in the moment, press a button and save 120 seconds of recording to disk right away. To do this, we want to go to hotkeys and scroll down till you find start, stop, replay buffer. It should be in its own section. So here we click to save the hotkey and let's just make it page down. So anytime I click page down, OBS will kick into action and then capture however many seconds of footage that I have. Since I use OBS often, I have several pre made scenes already installed in OBS that I've made myself. I have made OBS video here just for the sake of the video. From there, we want to go to sources, 
So for my layout, I have sources right next to my scenes. I want to add a scene. Now this is what may be based on preference for you. Um, if you like to capture everything that happens on your screen, no matter what it is, you can use display capture. For display capture, I already have one existing. You can just name it whatever you want and then click OK. And this way, it sees essentially my main monitor. So you can see in there, it's just capturing itself over and over and over again. If you don't like that and you only want to capture gameplay, um, you can add a new scene, game capture. Just click game capture to change a mode to capture specific window and then select your game from the options that are here. This is if you don't want, like if you tab out of the game or you go to look at other stuff, it'll always be capturing just the game in the background. And I do suggest that you don't keep game and display in the same section. Um, they don't, uh, OBS doesn't like that. So for the sake of this video, we are using Halo Infinite, which is in the background now. So you wanna double click Game Capture 2, change mode to specific window, and then in window, select the application. So I got Halo Infinite right here. Click OK, and then boom, it pops up in my canvas. So now that we've set up our game and we set up all of our recording settings, we can start the replay buffer here. Now that it's running, let's get into a match. You're about to see your boy kick ass or do really bad. We'll see. See that? That was a double. Let's cap that. And in my destination, this is the replay. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until then, see you next time.